Hey everyone, it's Justin Michael. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the CS Tarot today uh, by Conrad Stein. I have in front of me, I have the uh, CS Tarot 2nd Edition with the black backs. And then I have the CS Tarot Naked and Cut version, um, which is uh, something that uh, he's offering on his um, profile. There's quite a few options. Uh, I don't have the first deck, actually. Um, it's something that somehow just passed me by. I, didn't I just never got it. Um, I wanted to get it when I ordered um, the study deck for Tarot Course, but I just didn't for whatever reason. And I was talking to Conrad uh, a few months back, and he was like, well, don't get it right away. He said, wait, because I'm putting out a second edition, and uh, it's going to be a lot better. There's going to have 80 cards. You're going to be able to customize the, the card stock. You, in other words, you can choose uh, what type of card stock you like. Um, you can get it gilded. Uh, and I'm going to have some other uh, versions. So I held off and uh, I waited and sure enough it came out and uh, I'm very thrilled with it actually. So um, I've had him for about a little over a week. Uh, I was on vacation last week and I wanted to do a video on it. Uh, this isn't like my typical kind of format. You know, I usually just do like an informal kind of walkthrough. Um, but this actually, I wanted to show the detail of the car because I really, really am impressed with this. So we're going to start with the CS Tarot standard size first. Uh, and I'm going to show you, I'm not going to do a full walkthrough. Okay. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the deck and I'm going to show you the cards that, you know, um, I want to share some thoughts about, and I'm going to show you a little piece of here and there, you know? Um, so the two extra cards that you get are pieces of artwork from Pixie. Um, they're very cool, you know, and, and different. Um, and it, it's really cool that, uh, they're included in this deck. Um, and like I said, I opted for the black backs. You can get a couple different backs. They have an orange or um, an amber back and a few other options, okay? Uh, like I said, I like the black. Um, and I chose the S30 cardstock because it's something I actually like. It is like the base level kind of cardstock, but I actually really like it. It has a very U.S. games quality to it. Um, it feels great and it shuffles really well. It's actually very playing card-ish, you know what I mean? I always say it's like the casino uh, playing card decks, you know? So, and then I'm going to just do this for this, for the full. And I just want to give you an idea of um, how good this deck is and, and, and what I really think about it. So, on the left here, I have the study deck for... Um, the study deck for tower course uh, from makeplaincards.com. This is a scan of an original Pam A, okay? And then this one here, of course, is the, the um, one we're talking about CS. And then I have the uh, yellow box from the early 90s here. So the thing I really like about this deck is that the clarity of the image, you know? Uh, and it almost seems to like, the full seems to like stand out like almost 3D, you know? Uh, I don't know what he did to achieve that, but it's brilliant, and I really, really like it. But it's got such clarity to it. It's really a great deck. Um, so, you know, just wanted to give you an idea and just show you. But uh, And he has also, like, sort of a signature kind of backdrop, um, which you see in all of his decks. And it has, like, a kind of a crackle look to it, you know. And that seems to be, like, his style, you know. But uh, I am going to do just a walkthrough here. I'm going to show you most of the majors. And, um, sorry, my cats are fighting. <laughs> and, um, you know, share some thoughts. But I really, really love the coloring in this. Um, everything is really clear. And it's just a great RWS. And the good news is it has, uh, you know, the original font in it, which is great. So... Really, really love it. This is going to be a short video. I'm going to show you about four decks because I ended up buying about four decks from him. So it includes two more C's. I really love this Lover's Card. It's phenomenal. Um, the colors in it are great. I love just everything. It just looks so pretty the way he has it. Um, and uh, the one of the things that was uh, you know done with this was that he got rid of the copyright, you know, and that's really good. I love the Hermit card. I'm going to go pretty fast because this is the RWS deck, and if you want to get a better look, of course, you can always pause it. 
There's that like kind of crackle look um, to the backdrop of the hangman. And look at that Death Garden, that's great. You know, the sky is <clears throat> just looks really, really cool. I would love to see him in action, you know, like what his process was. It's so interesting. Judgment, and we have the world. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of the pips. So here's a court card, King of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. I mean, just really, really colorful and beautiful. There's the Two of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. So that is the standard size. And again, you can get um, the different backs for it. You can choose your card stock. Uh, it's pretty, it's really pretty cool. Uh, so the other deck that I'm gonna show you is um, something I'm really excited about. It's the Not Getting Cut um, deck. And I really, it, I'll tell you why. Number one, sorry, just pardon me one second. Um, Number one, it's hard to find a really good mini, you know what I mean? And what I really like about this is that it's not, you know, I don't like the smaller than bridge size minis. You know, like for instance, the Low Scar Bayo, the Radiant Wise uh, Spirit that just came out. It's a beautiful deck, it's great, but it's too small. You know, I wish it was a little bit bigger. Um, and that just seems to be uh, an issue with the minis, you know. They just seem too small for me. Um, so just to give you an idea, here's a... a deck of bicycle playing cards so you can see it's slightly longer by about an inch um and they feel great you know they shuffle great uh and it's called naked and cut because you know it's just the image you know what i mean it's um let me see if i can get a better, better picture there so you know no titles and of course there's always a cost when you do something like this so you lose some detail but nothing really annoying nothing too drastic just um you just lose a little bit here and there on the ends but this is a great deck for like travel um for meditation on the go you know things like that um and i'm really going to use this a lot i already know it you know uh, I'm glad I got this. It's it's great, and I don't like titles a lot. Sometimes I do. I do a lot of like creative creative visualization, or you know, um, I forget what they call it in tarot, but in Jungian psychology, they call it creative visualization. You know, when you step into the picture, pathwork. I think maybe they call it in tarot, uh, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, but and it'll fit you know in your pocket. You know, and it, it feels great to shuffle. But uh, I'm just really, really pleased with it. And, you know, such a great idea, I think. I'm used to reading without titles anyway. I mean, I know this deck back, like, back to front, uh, as many of you do, especially if you, you love this deck. Some of you that are just starting out, you know, this might not be a great choice. You can get it, but you obviously will have to... Um, you know, memorize the cards. And this might help with that, actually, too, you know. In a way, you know, because you have to remember, oh, this is the, the devil, you know. And you can, like, remember the order and things like that. Just a superb idea. And there's the world. You know, it's really, um, it feels great. It's just easy to shuffle and, you know, <clears throat> easy to handle. Good quality cardstock. So uh, the next deck I'm going to show you is actually, this is a Nicholas Conver, um, and it's titled Burnt, B-U-R-N-T. Someone mentioned to me that this may not be available anymore. I don't know if it is or isn't. You know, I will leave... Uh, the stores um, link down below in the description box. Um, but this is a Cam Wan or a, a Nicholas Colin I love the backs, the, the blue backs. Um, and 
I wasn't planning on getting these initially, but then I saw he had two, and I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to get both of them. So I ended up buying four decks from him. But, um, you know, I really, really like it. It's something different, you know. And um, it does look like the original kind of Convair um, that you'll see, you know, images of from the museum. Um, it's got like that burnt quality to it, you know. I'm not going to show you too many of these, and I already showed this on my in my last video, but um, you know, because this is a comrade's dive video, I wanted to show it. Um, but it's really, really cool, and again, it's only a sturdy cardstock. The other deck was the um, the Arnold, which is um, it's a Basican style. Um, Tower de Marseille, uh, and he has these white cracklebacks, which are really cool, and I really am happy with this deck. This is really cool. The colors are great. It's very different. It has like a very soft kind of feel to it. The colors are soft and not real bright, you know, but they're pretty, and it's almost like a pastel kind of look, you know, um, but I'm very happy with it, and it, the Basican actually has, instead of the High Priestess, it has uh, Juno as uh, card uh, two, and it has Jupiter card five, which I'll show you in a second. I'm going to show you the cards in between, though. The Emperor and the Emperor, and then here's Jupiter. I think what they did was, uh, because this is like from, I think, 1748, um, it's like the later part of the uh, Middle Ages, the Renaissance, so I think they were just sort of not doing like religious stuff you know they wanted to do more myth like mythical type figures uh in greek greek mythology things like that um i think i'm, I'm that's an educated guess i think i heard that somewhere but um you know the colors are really cool and i really really like this so i've actually um spent some time with this deck and i like it so I'm not going to show you all of them again. Let me just show you a couple of the pips. I'm going to show you the Ace of Pentacles. And here's the Two of Pentacles, which, uh, of course, has uh, Arnold on it, 1748. Um, you know, it's really, really cool. I'm glad I got it. The Ace of Wands. So that's it. That's uh, makeplaincards.com, you know, Conrad Stein. I will leave the information below. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I really appreciate it, and uh, I hope you have a good one, and uh, love and peace. Bye-bye.